everyone okay today's video is going to be a grocery haul and last time I did one of these um, it was when I was vegan and I should have put a disclaimer on it because I am NOT a healthy eater at all I mean clearly I've got some curves so I don't eat healthy um, but I'll just show you the stuff that I like I basically just eat what I like so I'm just gonna show you what I got at Whole Foods and Trader Joe's today um, I'll do Whole Foods first because I only got a couple things Mostly because my husband gets really mad when I go to Whole Foods because he thinks it's overpriced. But I think they've got good stuff. So I got some chips. Like, here's a prime example of why I'm not a healthy eater. But I bought these for my husband because they're cheddar beer and they sounded really yummy for him. And then these were fully loaded baked potato, but they were like two for four. So that's a good deal, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, and then I bought some lentil soup um, just for a snack for me. I basically bought a lot of this stuff this week for stocking up because I'm about to work <laughs> like seven days straight. So a lot of my food is about convenience. So most of it's just going to be like stuff that I can grab and stuff that I can eat quickly because I'm going to be working all weekend and all next week. And I think I have a quite a few... I think quite a few meetings next week too so <sighs> okay so and then this last little bit here um I picked up some cheeses and olives um I went to the out like the little olive bar and picked up a bunch of like olives and um we actually have some jalapeno olives and stuff um already in the refrigerator but um I also picked up some different types of cheeses like they have like this is the coolest idea they have like I'm not even going to pronounce them because I also, <laughs> everybody's like, uh, you can't pronounce anything, which I know I can't, so whatevs. But I got this cheese, this Italian one, this one here, and then some smoked Gouda. So these I got for um, like a little cheese tray that I'm going to put together so that my husband, um, I'm just going to do some like wine and cheese for tonight and olives and crackers and stuff because... Um, my husband's on vacation <laughs> this next week. Today's his last day of work and then he's on vacation. So I kind of want to celebrate like vacation because his job is very stressful. So, and then the last thing I picked up, actually picked up a few of these, all the same kind are the Chia, um, squeezes and it's the Mama Chia is the brand and they're, the Green Magic is the one that I like and basically it's just like a squeezy thing and you just have it like for a snack and it's really good, um. I really, really, really like these. Um, it's a texture thing, though. They have the seeds in them, so that's kind of weird. So you got to be careful. If you don't like texture and stuff, you might not like them. And also, I get weirded out by these packages. Like, I try not to think about it because I'm hoping because it's organic and I'm hoping they just are better with it. I don't know. Because of all the, like, stuff with Capri Sun, all the mold and stuff in there. So it really creeps me out. So I'm hoping that it's better. I'm hoping it's better. Okay, now for Trader Joe's. So I have two bags, so I'm just going to whip through them real quick. I got some kale. I love the kale from Trader Joe's. I basically eat it on, like, sandwiches and as salad and stuff like that. Then I picked up these wasabi snacks. Um, they're actually just seaweed, roasted seaweed with wasabi, like, flavoring on them. And I, they're only 99 cents, and I love them. And I actually eat them with rice. I probably have, like, some in my drawer right here, too. Yep, I sure do. I love those things. I love to eat them on, like, brown rice. So good. Then I picked up this linguine with um, pesto and tomatoes, just like for a quick dinner one night. Um, and of course, super unhealthy. These s'mores sandwiches, I don't know what it is, but they look so good. Graham crackers with marshmallow, chocolate, swirl, gelato, and milk chocolate flakes. Mm-hmm. They look so good. So I got those. Then I got these just whole wheat chips. I think they're kind of like a pita chip. I don't know. They pretty much sound like pita chip, but just to like dip on some dips or something on some dips. Then I picked up these coconut chips, roasted coconut. Um, I think it's just like coconut pieces of coconut. Um, and I just like to eat them like with granola and stuff because I got the um, raw cashews, all that were nice. I just spilled uh, and the praline granola and some banana chips and some of these. Um, peanuts and I like to mix them all together so that's that and then I picked up of course another thing that's totally unhealthy but inside out carrot cake cookies because first of all I love carrot cake I love carrot cake it's just so yummy to me and oh sorry the school bus is dropping the kids off um but yeah they're just like carrot cake cookies oh my gosh they're just 
so bad for you, but it's so good. Okay, then I picked up some just some string cheese, which I had one out of there already. And then this is my favorite part are all these salads. I love Trader Joe's salads so much. So this first one is, um, well, not for me, but miso salmon um, with green. It has uh, salmon in it, so I don't eat that, but um, this just looks really good. And then... I got this one, which is my absolute favorite, the kale and edamame bistro salad. Not only is this so amazing, the dressing is like a lemon herb dressing, and it's so good. I wish it would sell that separately, so I would totally buy it and eat it on all my stuff. But it just has like kale, some green onions, edamame, some almonds, some tomatoes. I don't think it has any cheese or anything. Nope. Oh, dry cranberries, but I don't usually put that on there. So it just looks like that. Awesome for me to take to work. Love it. Then I got this arugula caprese salad, and I love arugula. I know you guys are going to be like, yeah, you love everything, Danielle. Well, clearly I love food, okay? Um, but I really love the taste of arugula. I just think it's so refreshing, and, like, I just love arugula. So this just has, like, some mozzarella, tomato, and then the basil dressing in there, and that's just something else I can take to work, which is wonderful. Then I picked up this Middle Eastern pasta salad. just has pasta, chickpeas, and then a lemon oregano dressing, but it's not like a creamy dressing. It's more like a vinaigrette, and it just looks like that. It has some feta in there on this side, and then pasta and chickpeas and all that yummy stuff. And then the last thing is the super spinach salad. Um, if you can't tell the that I don't, I love edamame and it's in like all this stuff. Um, this just has quinoa, carrots, cranberries, chickpeas, edamame, pumpkin seeds, and a carrot gin ginger miso dressing. So it's really good and I love this salad too. So this is basically my week's worth of salads and then I'll make a couple more because this is only five. Well, minus the chicken one. I don't need, or the... Wherever that salmon one, that one's not on there either that for me to eat. So I'll probably make a couple more sam or salads with the um, kale for this week. So yeah, that was just my little mini haul, I guess. I just kind of wanted to show you guys like if you're interested in like what I shop for or like what I buy when I go grocery shopping. Um, this is just kind of like a snack grocery shop. Um, this isn't like stuff that like I'm guaranteeing like my husband wouldn't eat any of this besides the cheese and olives and the, maybe that salad. Um, because he does not eat the same as me. Um, I'm vegetarian, so I don't eat any meat, but he is like the biggest meat eater of life. So yeah. All right. So I hope you guys are having a wonderful week and you're about to have a wonderful weekend. It is Friday. It is the last day I have the only day I have off before I have to work seven or eight days straight. So it is about to start my work week and I'm not really excited, but I'm taking two weeks off in October for my vacation, so it is well worth it. I will see you guys next time. Um, so until then, bye.